Good morning, once again, joined by our expert, Molly. So today we're talking about keto. I know this is something a lot of people want to do for weight loss, but tell me how it can benefit with cancer. Yeah, so there's a lot of emerging research that is showing that the keto diet can be beneficial to go along with, we would say, cancer treatment to help prevent or treat certain types of cancer. Now I'll say, I'm not specifically an advocate of a keto diet. If someone comes in and they're already doing a keto diet, I'm gonna encourage them and they feel like it works really well, well let's look at maybe a more plant-based keto. So this isn't about advocating specifically for a keto diet, but I do wanna share the science. I had a really interesting interview with a cancer researcher named Lou Cantley. He's just a leader in this field and so, mm -hmm. In, on WGNO.com, we link to the full interview with him. So if you want more, we've got the link to that. Basically, when you think of it just in the simplest terms, sugar fuels our cells. Mm -hmm. Sugar is a source of energy for our cells, and sugar can be that source of energy for cancer cells. So the short theory is, well, if we restrict that mm -hmm. fuel for the cells, and we're also hindering the growth of cancer cells. But beyond that, there's so many other ways that Dr. Cantley says that the keto diet can benefit cancer. Now, what we'll also say is this is not to do at all instead of traditional mm -hmm. treatment. It would be something to talk with your practitioner, talk with your provider, talk with an oncologist, talk with your team to say, is this something that might be beneficial for me to try? So it's still, it's not to replace the standard therapies of chemotherapy, radiation, et cetera, but it would be to do in addition. Right. I'll also say the keto diet normally is about 20 grams of carbs or mm -hmm. less. The keto diet for cancer can be even lower. Mm -hmm. So admittedly, this can be a really intense approach for someone who's already going through a lot. Right. I do have friends who have, who have been kind of at that point where they're like, they're just grasping at what is out there that mm -hmm. I can do. And I'll say this, I'm not, we won't have time to go through all the different reasons, but it has right. to do with our um, insulin-like growth factors, our insulin levels, um, there's our body's, the tumor's ability to produce certain compounds. So there's a lot of reasons behind it. Following such a low carb keto diet, it's a challenge for anybody. And Absolutely. when you're going through cancer treatment, there's so much else happening physically, emotionally, that it may or may not be worth it. What I will say though, is that for someone going through cancer therapy, there's, it feels like every single thing else is out of your control. Mm -hmm. So this can be, what you're putting into your body can be one thing to control. So again, this isn't something for everybody. This is something though to be aware of, to know, to talk with your provider. Again, beyond sugar, there's so many other things uh, and different reasons and different ways that the keto diet might be helpful with cancer. We won't have time to cover them all in this segment, but do know that we link to them in detail. We have it on WGNO.com, the summary of it, and then the link so you can get full detail more information on that as well. Perfect. Thanks, Molly. We'll see all this information on WGNO.com, and we'll see you after the break.